The course I teach is a transport and tourism distribution course, so there are uh, elements of transport but also elements of IT and technology and distribution. Uh, probably two-thirds of the course is about transport and about a third of that transport component is about airlines and aviation. So the simulations seem to be a really good way to help students understand all the operational as well as the strategic and, and management issues around running an airline. I decided to, to look for simulations and, and, and to uh, embed a simulation in, into the pedagogy for the, the course because I wanted students to not just go through another course where they had to write an essay or do an in-class presentation, but have an opportunity to actually learn through doing something. There's a famous model in education called the Learning Pyramid. Um, which looks at how much, uh, how much people retain through, uh, through different sensory inputs. And I think it's, it goes something like this. You retain about 10% of what you read, uh, about 20% of what you hear in a lecture. Uh, if you see something demonstrated, you retain a higher percentage. And right at the bottom of that pyramid are things like simulations where you actually learn, you retain more information if you're actually doing it, not just and passively receiving information. So I think the simulation is really effective because students are actually doing it. The course I teach is delivered in a flipped classroom format. So all of the uh, lectures are recorded and edited down into uh, videos of about 10 minutes long. Um, so there's about three hours of video content on aviation. And, uh, and that provides students with the kind of knowledge base or the content they, they need to understand the aviation world. The simulation then picks up on some of those threads. Um, the students are encouraged to try things. And um, the way that I've set it up in my course, uh, students actually early in the semester are given their own individual account so they can log in and run their own airline uh, for about two weeks uh, with no risk attached to it. So there's no assessment or, or risk attached to it if your airline uh, crashes. The first piece of assessment they need to do is, is to present in class a, a business proposal for their airline. So this is uh, to connect and, and make the experience a bit more strategic for them. So they have to essentially go through an exercise of, of some strategic planning where they identify a market uh, for their airline, and they identify which geographic area they want to operate in, um, what kind of services they're going to offer, uh, how they're going to configure the, the aircraft and, uh, and so on. So, so that's a really important piece of assessment to get them to think about the, the, the initial business aspects of running the airline. They then go uh, through and, and, and start the simulation, set up the airline. Uh, this is a really good learning experience for them to understand that sometimes plans don't work out the way that we intended and that they may need to deviate from their plan, particularly if it wasn't a good plan or if other competitors, other airlines in the class have done something uh, that, uh, that means their plans are no longer feasible. They, um, they, they get to, to practice that in, in, in this kind of dynamic system where they, where they compete with other airlines. I, uh, later on in the semester, ask them to submit an annual report. So they often do that by looking at examples of real airlines like Qantas or Singapore Airlines and, uh, and then writing one for their own airline. Uh, attached to that uh, assessment, are a few other components uh, throughout the semester just to ensure that students are um, understanding the knowledge uh, part of, of, of the course. We have a series of uh, quizzes that they, that they complete. Uh, they also have to complete a, a blog which, uh, which allows them to reflect on the whole experience, not just the simulation but also other aspects of the course and uh, and how the simulation integrates with those other aspects. And that is often a very personal piece of work that they do. It gives me a great insight about how the simulation is going and what they're learning from it, because different students do seem to learn different things. And then finally, there is a small percentage of the mark uh, linked to peer evaluation and peer performance and group evaluation, and also to their, the performance of their business, their airline, in the simulation.